Hi everyone, now I'm going to be tying a CDC Hendrickson, this fly here, you can see, now just a small done pattern, uh, and I'll, what I'm going to do is I'll just put a photograph up, if you see that, look at this photograph, now that's the natural, that's the done, it's in a book I have, and uh, basically I'm using that as a guide, and then I'm using CDC, which I have CDC very close to that, which I have dyed, now size, it's when you in the book it says nine to twelve mil. This this hook here is is ten mil, so this basically just like in but this in between. So uh, it's an ideal size, but I would probably tie it uh, in this hook uh, range, sixteens and fourteens. It's always good to have a slightly bigger fly, especially in rougher water or when it's windy. So the thread I'm going to be used to tying the th uh, the fly is this uni thread AO, and all I've done. Now, first thing I'm going to do is just wax my thread, just to get it started, so plenty of grip. So I'm basically going to start at the eye. Now, what I'm going to do here, I'm actually going to use the, the thread as a rib. So my waist piece, make sure you've got a good, a reasonable length. Uh, you just tie it in. The eye, to come down a wee bit, now I'm going to double up on it. So I'm just going to catch it just there. And then I'm going to keep it on the underside and wind to the back of the hook. Now the tail of the fly, I'm using the speckled. This is a Croc de Leon fibre. This one here is from, uh, as you can see, this is a hairline product. And it's uh, the Croc de Leon light speckled. It's a, it's a nice colour to use. So you're looking around between four and six fibres. I like a good tail on my fly. So, just bring them out 90 degrees from the stem, I'm just making sure these are lined up, tear them away. Tail length, looking around about just about the hook length, let's catch that one there, two or three turns. Now I'm going to come underneath just to lift the tail fibres a wee bit. Basically, come under with a turn, pull towards the eye, and then lock them down. There we are. That kind of slightly opens the fibre, as you can see. Trim this the length of the body, which would be there. Now, the CDC I'm using is actually a domestic duck, a white duck. Now, uh, I'm just going to raise feather here. You're looking at like a, for this fly, about a medium sized feather should be able to do it. Now, this is the feather colour here. It's just this is a, an olive, a light olive that I've dyed. Now, I want to use the, the it's not so much waste, but the fibres at the base of the feather as the dubbing near the head. And I only need enough to get up. So you're looking around in this feather, just check it out, about two thirds of the feather, there it's there. I'm going to catch it in, just at this point here. And then with a turn, just to pull it through, keep it reasonably tight, but pull it to the tips. And then wind up. This is a herald really, this is uh, basically going to give us a nice shape in the fly. And any loose fibres, just draw them back with your fingers, just lightly. Now I'm going to wind this towards myself, because as I say, I'm going to rub it with the thread, and to get a better rub, and hold it better, it's the weaker fibre is the CDC, though it is quite strong on this feather. But it will see, you'll see it better if you wind it the opposite way, the rub. So we wind up, and there's our body. Once we get to the top, now because we wound towards ourselves, we have to lock it in. So basically what you do is you come over a turn onto the CDC and then a turn on the hook. Do the same again, and again. And then trim this away. And now these, the, these fibres here I'm going to use for the, the thorax, just as a dubbing. But I'm going to blend it into the some of the fibres from the wing as well, so we get a nice blend of the two. So I'm just going to trim that and put it onto my desk ready for the thorax. So obviously you're left with nothing on it, so just leave it in your desk. Now rub the fly, I've got my, my thread here, now just make sure you wax it. Now I'm just going to spin it just to tighten it up near the back. And then we're going to rub it up through, 
makes a lovely body right up to where we've got the CDC in catch that down nice and tight now give yourself plenty of room up here trim away your right area of the rib just going to trim these fibres away now you can see it's a nice shape and it floats well now the wing is the same CDC as dyed now to get this colour I'm going to get, I'm going to select four so uh, medium to large feathers now the domestic duck's not the best at times it's uh, the fibres are a bit broken but you get that now I've got four now you've got the three on top of one another there and there's the fourth now what I'm going to do is use this obviously the wing just make sure the ends are lined up there, there. Just pull it together. Now make sure you wax your thread. Now I'm going to tie the wing in here, on here. The length of the wing you're looking around right about the length of the hook. Just catch it there. A couple of turns at first, just to see. See if we've got the right length. Just checking. Just a wee tad too long. Just go back. If it's a wee tad long, just go back. And once you're happy, you've got a good half dozen turns in there now what I'm going to do now is get my dubbing now I have some waste from one of the, the, the first flyer tied that it's there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove don't need it all but I'm looking like a 50-50 mix of the grey, of this grey now I meant to say how I got that colour now I'll show you the feather, how I got this colour basically I dyed it cinnamon first and then I added a wee touch of black and you get this colour now I use Wenger dyes so uh, it's actually spot on, it's, it's very natural like it's very hard to tell it's not natural so basically now I've got the waist the both the feathers, both colours I'm just going to lightly dub it on now I'm leaving these here because I'm going to use two for the to split the wing and then I'm going to trim the, the remains of the rest just as a so a wee bit of the wing at the back now don't be shy with this because we're going to brush some of this out just bring through dubbing through because that's going to then mix into the wing but before I'm just going to bring the thread remove the, the dubbing but bring the thread to the front then I'm going to split the wing so I've got an even split, two, two feathers either side. I'm going to bring through two. Now the reason I'm bringing them through two at this point is that I've got plenty of room at the front. I'm going to, I need double dubbing at the front, but I'm going to tie this first. I'm going to tie this in first. So just bring them through, tighten them up. I'm going to show you what I've done. You see I've split the wing. Trim these away. Make sure these are tied in. Then go back to my the same dubbing. Just go back to it. You could finish off at that, but I'm going to put a wee bit extra in because I like to make sure there's plenty there because it helps to float the fly. So we hold the wing back. I mean, don't be shy. Just put it right in, uh, right up against the wing. Just make sure you, you've got enough room. You see, I've got plenty of room there. Nice and tight. I'm just going to varnish the thread here at this point. Just put some varnish on the thread from about a centimetre from the eye down. And then I'm going to whip finish. That will lock in the whip finish. Now I'm going to pull the wing slightly forward. And then I'm going to trim this at the back. Now trim it and leave at least a mil and a half or two. At the back, I don't know if you can see that there. That, that again helps to float the fly. Uh, I know it's just a the fish don't see it, but it, it all adds to making the fly more robust and sits much longer in the water. Now, what I'm going to do now then is just get some velcro and really brush out the dubbing into the wing. 
I usually brush it up into the wing more than anything and it's a lovely blend of colour now I'm just going to trim I'm just going to take the, the corner off but just push them up just at the back here I'm just going to trim it slightly at an angle just trim away the long fibres and there we are see what it looks like, you can still oops, lift out some of these fibres and that will float really well, once you put your floating on that it will sit there, it'll, you'll catch a few fish before you have to replace the fly it is rough looking, rough and ready as we call it but uh, I've had lots of fish on this fly over the years, or this basically this style of fly but that's my take on the photograph uh, on the, 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 the natural fly and uh, as I say, it's a very nice, it's a soft done like fly, uh, fly and that's, that's sometimes what you're looking for uh, so there we are I hope you enjoyed that uh, as I say it is it looks rough and ready but it will catch you fish so thanks for watching and again if you haven't subscribed please do it, it does help the channel and thanks for watching <laughs>